Think you've got them? Find out now. Oh, I'm Tiny Nicotero. Welcome to Street Smarts. As you may know, I've pounded the pavement looking for ordinary Joes and Janes and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got their heads on straight and who forgot to pay their brain bill. And speaking of players, let's meet them. Hello, Rosina. Hey. Hello. Hey. Ariane Marty. Hey. Looking fly on that green shirt. Hey. Now remember, it's all or nothing here on street smarts. The winner hits pay dirt. The loser leads dirt poor. Now, let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. I, kick, I kicked off my travels in Dallas where Don gave me a good impression. Don, what do you do here? I do nothing. <laughs> How do you know when you're done? Because uh, when I'm done, I pass out. <laughs> where are you from? Oh, I grew up in Chicago. Oh, Chicago, what part? Uh, South Park. Do you do any impressions? Yes, I do Gilbert Godfrey. Okay, could you do Gilbert for us? I don't know what I'm going to do here. I just said, oh my God, oh my God. She said, it's so unbelievable. We're down here in Deep Ellum. I just can't believe it. What kind of wuss do I look like? I have gloves and a jacket. He has a tee on. Then at the mall, I monkeyed around with Kimberly. Kimberly, I understand you make some animal noises. <laughs> and where are you originally from? Canada. Oh, take off, eh? Eh. Hey. What's your favorite movie? When Harry Met Sally. Oh, I love that movie. Could you perform the uh, restaurant scene that Meg Ryan does? Uh, oh. <laughs> now, that's the story of my life. Women start getting into it and then they laugh. This happens to me all the time. <laughs> that was just a joke. And for her birthday, I gave Emily her 15 minutes. Now, Emily, what do you do? Um, I'm a student. Where are you a student at? San Diego State. So what are you doing up here in San Francisco? It's my birthday. It's your birthday today? Uh -huh. How old are you today? 20. Do you have any unusual talents or hobbies? Mm, I can tie a cherry stem in my mouth with my tongue in a knot. Very impressive. And that comes in handy for what? It means you're a good kisser. I can tie it and untie it. <laughs> then you're a really good kisser. <laughs> yeah. Time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your mission is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess will earn you $100, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Ready or not, let's get rolling. Here's the first question I asked to Don, Kimberly, and Emily. What is an Italian Mastiff? Flip up your paddles, tell me who knew it, guys. What do you think? Do you think it was Don, Kimberly, or Emily could come through on that one? Okay, you guys are locked in. Uh, let's see, Rosina, you think Don knows this, huh? Yeah, I think he knows something about dogs. Why is that? Just he's, uh... He just looks like it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's find out. <laughs> what is an Italian uh, Mastiff? Uh, uh, an Italian Mastiff? Besides me? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's, um, my dad. Your dad's an Italian Mastiff? Yeah, he sure is. What is he? A dog. <laughs> Your dad's a dog? Yes, That he would is. explain the, the hair? <laughs> Thank you. That's the right answer, I see. Don got it right, $100 for you. Nice job. All right, Marty, let's take a look at Kimberly, see what she said. What is an Italian Mastiff? Food. It's a food? Yes. What's it taste like, Italian Mastiff? Spaghetti. Tastes like spaghetti? Yes. It's not beefy at all? No. I'm sorry, Marty, Kimberly got that wrong. That's not a correct answer. Get the next all right, <laughs> yeah, here's the next question, guys. I asked all three, what is amniotic fluid? What is amniotic fluid? Who knew it? Do you think it was Don, Kimberly, or Emily? Rosina? What do you got? You're kind of in the middle there. Okay. Okay. Who, okay. All right. You're both locked in. You're both thinking Emily's the one who knows this, right? I think so. uh, Marty, you think Emily knows? I think so. I think she's. I think she's in there. I think she's and in Rose, tune with the whole baby thing. And Rosina, you agree? Yes, I totally. All right. Do. Before we check in with Emily, let's check in and see what Don had to say. What is amniotic fluid? Amniotic fluid? That's the stuff inside your brain. Okay. <laughs> How's your amniotic fluid? It's very weak right now. <laughs> because because I've been drinking and smoking too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Don. All right, guys, let's see if Emily knows this and can uh, win each $100. What is amniotic fluid? Some in the cells. In the cells? Yeah. So everyone has it in their body? For sure. Okay. <laughs> That's a wrong answer. You both had Emily. I'm sorry, that is not a correct answer. The correct answer is it's a fluid in pregnant women that protects the baby in the womb. The be silent. Okay, all right, here's the last question of the round, guys. I asked all three, according to the old saying, what's mightier than the sword? Who knew that one? What do you think, Don, Kimberly, or Emily? All right, Rosina looks like she's changing her opinion, and so is my. Okay, you're locked in now. All right, you both are thinking differently on this. Rosina, you think Emily's gonna come through? Yeah, she's in college in San Diego State. I think she knows what it is. All right, is. you're paying attention. Let's find out and see if that's right. According to the old saying, what's mightier than the sword? 
<laughs> well, you're Italian. Right. You should know. So, so much mightier than the sword? <laughs> you're Italian sausage. <laughs> So if you got into a fight, you'd rather have an Italian sausage than a sword. Thrown at me? For sure, yeah. Okay. Oh. Emily got it wrong with Sweet Up Sean. That's not a correct answer. Okay. Now, Marty, let's okay. see if Kimberly can tie up see the game it, here. Let's it. find out. According to the old saying, what's mightier than the sword? Your words. Your words are mightier than the sword? What's yeah. that mean? How can words be mightier than a big, sharp instrument? Because they are. <laughs> <laughs> It's the wrong answer, Marty. Kimberly didn't know either. It looks like Don's the one who had the correct answer. Let's check it out. Don, according to the saying, what is mightier than the sword? The pen. The pen. What does that mean? Pen is mightier than the sword. That means somebody can fire you without even letting you know, man. You're at the door. When's the last time you were fired? Uh, day before yesterday. <laughs> From where? Uh, radio station. <laughs> I love Don. All right, he knew that one. All right, guys. Let's recap the scores. Marty, you have a big donut right now. Don't worry. He's got zero, but Rosina's got a hundred bucks. Yeah! She's got the early lead. Way to go, Rosina. Stick around. We'll find out which one of these eggheads blew it when we return. If you're elected Times Man of the Year, what magazine do you get your picture on the cover of? Um, Playboy. Playboy. Yeah. Welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our players. Now we have Rosina here. Now, Rosina, Rosina, what happened to you when you went to pick up uh, some takeout? Well, Frank, as you know, I'm Asian. This group of people walk in and ask me for a table. So I looked around. <laughs> I thought, hey, what, why not? So I grabbed some menus, took them to the table, said, your waiter will be right with you. Have a nice meal. Picked up my takeout and went home. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. All right, you should have acted like you worked there and just taken the know, food exactly. and left. All right. All right, now, Marty, you do a killer impression of Mr. Peeper. Sure you Saturday Night Live. I love this character, so I want right, to see you do it, Marty. Let's do it. Oh, God. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Nice job, on a trip for our contestants. Thanks for being here, guys. All right, it's time to ante up as we start our next round. Who blew it? Yeah. This time we asked the same question, only two of our pavement professors. One answered right, one answered wrong. Each time Rosina or Marty correctly identifies which scholar flubbed the question, they get 200 bucks, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. from the studio audience. And you're, you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap. Here's how. When you hear a question you think your opponent doesn't have the gray matter to answer, smack the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get the $200. Now remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so don't get all slap happy. All right, guys, here we go. We got a close game. Uh, 100 to nothing. All right, here we go. Here's the first question I asked both Don and Kimberly. What is known as the forbidden dance? So flip them up, tell me who blew it, guys. What do you think? Go flip up your pad, Rosina, there you go. All right, boy, that was quick. All right, you both locked in. Uh, Rosina, you think Kimberly blew this? Yeah, I think she's a partier. I think she knows what it is. Okay, well, you need to know who blew it, you know, that's right. Oh! What, right, is it, okay, well, okay, you, well that's okay. you're locked in. All right, let's see what happens. Kimberly, yes. what is known as the forbidden dance? The lombada. <laughs> Can you, how does the lombada go? I don't even know. Uh, Show me a little lombada, come on. No, I can't do that. Not on TV. Is it that forbidden? I think so. Show me like one little Lombada move. Oh. No wonder why it's forbidden. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rosina. She got that right. Who blew it? All right, now, Marty, looks like Don blew it. Let's see what he said. What is known as the forbidden dance? The forbidden dance? The forbidden dance. Something tasty though. It's like uh, the tango or something. Like the that. tango. This is yeah. from a dance. Yeah, I think so. Can you tango? Uh, I could try. Go for it. All right, you want to? Sure. <laughs> All right, he blew it. Way to go, Marty. There's two hundred dollars for you. You take a little lead. All right, Rosina. Remember, cool boy. Right. You're doing all right. Don't worry. It's a close game. Here we go. Here's a question I asked to Kimberly and to Emily. It's the ladies' turn. Finish the line from the movie Top Gun. I feel the need. The need for. There you go. Who blew that one, guys? You think it was Kimberly or Emily that blew that one? Let's see here. Okay, you're both locked in. You both think Kimberly blew this. Rosina, you think Kimberly blew it this time, right? Yeah, I don't think she knows. This okay. time, I'm sure. And Marty, you agree? <laughs> blew it. Completely. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> Finish the line from the movie Top Gun. I feel the need, the need for... Flying. Flying. There you go. Maverick. Right. That was Tom Cruise in that movie. Yeah, I know. Yeah, did you like that movie? Yeah, I did. What's your favorite part of Top Gun? When he drowns. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. He needs help. <laughs> baby, baby, I know. She blew it. You guys both 
Hi, Kimberly. Nice job. $200 for each of you. The correct answer is I feel the need, the need for speed. All right. Here's the last question of the round that I asked to Don, who's a little crazy, and Emily, who uh, was also crazy. All right. Uh, here's the question I asked him. Why is Kate Spade famous? Oh, there was a dunce. Rosina, he beat you the buzzer. You've been dunce. Marty, throw that cap up there. Rosina, $200 on the line. If you get the answer right, the money stays with you. If you get it wrong, he gets the money. Okay? I'm going to read the question again. You have five seconds. Why is Kate Spade famous? She makes purses. It's the right answer, Marty. I'm yes! sorry. Rosina is blocked the dunce. She gets the $200. Put the cap on him, Rosina. Throw it on there. There you go. Thinking you wouldn't know Kate Spade. All right, so who do you guys think blew it? Don or Kimberly? Who blew that one? Nice job, Rosina. All right, you're both locked in. You think Don. Why do you think Don, Marty? Don, he has nothing to know with purses. All right, he's a guy. All right, let's see if, we, see if we can get you guys 200 bucks. Why is Kate Spade famous? Kate Spade? <laughs> Was she in a porno? <laughs> you both had Don. Way to go. He blew that one totally. All right, for the correct answer, we want to hear Emily. Emily, why is Kate Spade famous? Um, she makes bags because my friend Shala has one and she loves it and it's pointless because it costs like $100. <laughs> All right, thank you, Emily. All right, guys, good round for both of you here. Mario, you got $600. Way to go, buddy. Nice job. But look who took the lead. Rosina, she's got $700. Close game. Now that our players think they know our Ask Ball Einstein's, we'll see who they choose to ride when we come back. What time is it when the big hand is on the 12 and the small hand's on the three? Two? Four? <laughs> the big hand's on the 12, small one's on the three. Oh, okay, then it's three o'clock, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm a hit, come on now. Welcome back. It's time to harness your instincts and pick your pony. This time, we'll see Marty will each choose one of these fillies for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 smackaroos. Yeah. And we're going to leave the dunce cap in this round. Now, remember, it can only be used once in the round, and it's worth 300 bucks. In a close game like this, it's going to be crucial. Now, the player who was trailing choose, uh, chooses first. Uh, that's you, Marty. So who are you going to saddle up with? I'm going with Don. You're going with Don? Wild yeah. Don? Christina, how about you? I'm going to ride Kimberly. You're going to ride Kimberly. All right, very good. OK, Marty, here's the first question I asked to Don. What's a widower? Do you think he got that right or wrong? You're trailing right now. Correct prediction. I'll give you the lead. You know, I think Don got this right because I right? think he is a widower. Oh. Soon, so. <laughs> okay, let's find out. <laughs> What's a widower? A widower? Oh, she's a lady that is like a person whose husband has died. Okay, there you go. It's a widower. <laughs> yeah. He's got me doing it. <laughs> That's yeah. a wrong answer, Marty. Right. That's a wrong answer. He got that wrong. Oh. A widower is a man whose wife has died. He kind of oh. had a flip, so I'm sorry. No money there. Moving on to Rosina. Here's the first question I asked to Kimberly. What big city adjoins the Great Salt Lake? Think she got that right or wrong? I think she got it wrong. She got it wrong? Yeah. All I right. Think she knows it. If you get this right, it'll give you a thousand bucks total. Let's find out. What big city adjoins the Great Salt Lake? Salt Lake City? There you go. What state's that in? Utah. You sure? Yes. Nevada? It's in Utah. <laughs> I thought it was in Utah. I'm just playing with it. She got it right. I'm sorry, Rosina. You thought she'd get it wrong, so we still have a close game here. All right, Marty, you can take the lead on this clip here. I'm going right to. Uh, I asked Don, what company uses the slogan, Drop the Chalupa? Oh my God, you've been done. Oh, she wanted to take it back. Too late. Put the cap on Marty, Rosina. Looks like she's a little hesitant now that she, uh, that she dunched you. $300 on the line, Marty. $300. I'm going to read the question again. you got five seconds. What company uses the slogan, drop the chalupa? Hmm, would that be Taco Bell? It's a correct answer. Way to go, Marty. Throw the dunce cap on Rosina. You blocked the dunce. You get $300. Now it gives you $900. You're now on the lead. Exactly. All right, now, uh, Marty, do you think Don got that right or wrong? I think he got it right. He hates many chalupas, so. Okay, this is going to be a right huge question for you right here. Let's check it. out. What company uses the slogan, drop the chalupa? Yo quiero Taco Bell! <laughs> yeah, give me a good impression. Say drop the chalupa like the little chihuahua. Drop the chalupa. <laughs> he got it right, Marty. Way to go. Another 300 for you. Takes you up to 1,200. 600 bucks on one question. All right, Rosina, you're trailing now. Okay. Here's the next question I asked to Kimberly. What is Senator Trent Lott the majority leader of? What do you I think? I think she got it wrong. You think she got it wrong? Yeah. Seems like a pretty tough one. I don't think she knows much about politics. All right, let's find out. <laughs> What is Senator Trent Lott the majority leader of? Democrats. He's the majority leader of the Democrats? Yes. And what's their, their symbol, the Democrats? 
A whale. They have a whale? Yes. Because right, they're all... Yes. They're all big as whales? Yes. Like, and they drink like whales, like Ted Kennedy? Yes. You said so, not me. I said it right here. <laughs> she got it wrong. Way to go, Lucina. $300 for you. Thank you. The correct answer. Does anyone know the correct answer? He's the majority leader of the U.S. Senate. Okay. <laughs> all right. No, I got that one. All right. Here we go, Marty. Next question to Don. What is the leading cause of death in the United States? It's a cheery question. What do you think? You think he got it right or wrong? He definitely got this wrong. He's going to think it's acid that he was taking in the 70s. <laughs> you know, oh, let's find out, Marty. Don, what is the leading cause of death in the United States? Drinking. Drinking? Uh, no, smoking. Smoking? Yeah. Smoking and drinking. <laughs> the combination of both? Yes. Okay. Smoking and drinking together causes death. So how long do you have to live? Uh, about two more hours. <laughs> Also, coincidentally enough, probably when last call is. But yeah, thank you. <laughs> he got it wrong. Way to go, Marty. Another uh, $300 for you. Uh, the correct answer is heart disease is the leading killer. Okay, here's the last question of the round. We'll see it. it goes to you. It was to Kimberly. If someone says you're affable, what are they saying about you? Do you think she got that right or wrong? I think she got it wrong. She I don't got think this? she knows what it means. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> Kimberly, if someone says you're affable, what are they saying about you? That you're a cool, friendly person. There you go, and you are. A cool, friendly person. <laughs> what about me? You're a cool, friendly person too. Aww. We're two cool, friendly people. We're two affable people. <laughs> she got that right, Rosina. I'm sorry, she actually knew that one. Let's recap the scores. We're getting around three, Rosina. You got a cool grand, you got a thousand bucks, but Martin, fifteen hundred dollars. He's got the lead. When we return, Rosina and Marty will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Don, Kimberly, and Emily. I asked them. What was Marie Antoinette famous for losing during the French Revolution? Only one player will survive our final round. The wager of Find out who when we return! <laughs> Welcome back. Rosina and Marty, here's the 411. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Recapping the scores, we're seeing you got a nice thousand dollars right here. Marty's got 1,500, he's in the lead. Now remember, only the winner takes the Benjamins, which means it all comes down to this next question. And here's the final question of the show that I asked to Don, Kimberly, and Emily. What was Marie Antoinette famous for losing during the French Revolution? All right, Rosina, this is it. You're trailing right now. You're not far behind. Who do you want to see? Don. You're going to go with Don. Very nice, Marty. How about you? Thank you want to Emily. see Emily. All right, well, nobody chose Kimberly. We're going to say bye to Kimberly. And uh, Rosina, you're trailing right now. You went with Don. This is big. Let's check out his clip. What was Marie Antoinette famous for losing during the French Revolution? Her head. <laughs> what do you mean she lost her head? She really lost it, man. She's like totally just said no more. <laughs> God. Sorry. Cut it. Cut. Cut. I'm out of here. That's a right answer. He got that right. She lost her head, Rosina. You had Don. What did you say he would do? He got it right. You said he would get it wrong. Oh, no. How much of your thousand did you wager, Rosina? What did you do? Oh, she went for all of it. Bust her down to zero. Oh, my God, Marty, you were in control. $1,500. You have Emily. It all rides on this clip. What was Marie Antoinette famous for losing during the French Revolution? Her legs. She lost her legs. How did she lose her legs? <laughs> um, on the camel. <laughs> All right, Emily got that wrong. Marty, you had Emily. You got a lead right now, $1,500. She's got zero. I'm hoping you said this, uh, you predicted this right, that she would get it wrong. What did you say, buddy? Oh, no. Oh, Marty, you said right. I hope you didn't wager all of it. There's got to be some left, right? Oh, uh, he wagered all 1500 That gives him zero. Folks, nobody wins today on Street Smarts. So I'm going to take all the money. We're going to go out and get cake and ice cream. Let's go, Hey!